So I'm kind of hobbling along because I'm carrying this on the side of my hip. Moral of the story, you never know when opportunity is going to strike. I was, I don't know, 300 feet away shooting hoops. And I looked down the street, lo and behold, trash day is tomorrow. They put the stuff out early and uh, I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm the first to it, but there's definitely some stuff that if people pick through there, they overlook some really good stuff and I will definitely make some cash on that and save it from the landfill, save it from oblivion. So down the street, they're clearing out a house and yet again, I don't know if you saw the video where we found all like the Gucci, uh, Versace, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, purses, all that. We're still trying to ascertain whether or not they're legit, but even the fake ones sell for a good amount of money. But yet again, this week, they're dumping more stuff. And I just found a couple things I want to show you that are very cool. I know they will sell because I have past experience selling these exact things. So here's a little pile each week. They keep cleaning out this house. The woman who lived there was so nice and it was really sad because she did pass away uh, and I was friends with her and they're chucking everything. So I hate to see everything just disposed of. I don't like when I have to pick through trash bags, but I'm gonna just briefly look to see if there's anything. Ooh, a Pyrex box right off the bat. Yep. Oh, Jesus, that's awesome. Come on, grabbing that. Let's check this one closer. It's cool that it has the box still. So these were either like not used much or at least taken care of. This is hard to do. I need a chest mount thing to get these out. This is definitely in like mint condition. Maybe, maybe never used. These are the very like 70s looking ones with the, oh, not the wheat pattern, but uh, whatever that daisy Black Eyed Susan pattern is. And a kind of the negative of it, white. You know, I have the white on blue and then the blue on white. I will look those up. They'll definitely sell. They're just nice. If they don't sell, this is something, whoop, as I shatter them, this would be something I'd be fine with keeping myself too. Not worth very much, but this is a fantastic book as well. I will add that to my collection. I'm keeping that one. I'm gonna get into birding lately when hiking just yesterday. There's a video on this very channel at Wampatuck. That's really nice, this book. At Wampatuck State Forest. And my sister-in-law was taking lots of photos of birds. She's been getting into that, so I'm gonna grab that. This looks like actual trash. This picture, I will put it already, it's crap. Mm. Dustpan, I don't know, I got so many of American flag, that's kind of criminal. A murderously long screwdriver. Not really worth anything, but I hate to see it in the trash. Dustpan. The problem with picking in your own neighborhood is sometimes people, you know, they're looking out the windows. I just don't care. Uh, this is a bunch of wooden coat hangers, which I don't need. A lot of safety gear, wooden coat hangers. Uh, I don't know what that is for. Day glow, day glow placemat. Little fruit bag thing. I want to see what's in here. And the grand prize is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Linens, I can feel, no interest. I'm going to tear this one open a little bit, peek that I'm getting out of here. A lot of interesting fabric in this bag, which I have a couple friends in that trade. I might grab a little bit of this. I have no interest in it, but just to help out some friends. So let's see what we get from here. I'll shut off the camera and show you after the fact. Nothing that cool. Maybe for a flea market. I don't know. Look, Bradley's old school. Still sealed pillowcases. A bunch of them. I'll find a home for those. Hate to see anything thrown out. So, the Pyrex, that's a major score. I'm pretty happy. 
just picked this sucker up recently too. It was just so cool looking, I couldn't resist. I bought it. Uh, the guy who sold this used to be a dealer at the Windsmith Mills in Norwood. I will put a plug to his company down below because he was just the coolest guy and had some really unique stuff. I'm gonna fix up and repaint this and use it in my foyer for coat storage some other day. By the way, that sound in the background, if you could hear, it's not me peeing my pants as I narrate. It's the pond pump right here. Just an update in the fish. They're still in their state of semi-hibernation. It's about 30 degrees out right now. But they're doing well. Knock and wood have not lost one of them yet. And I'm probably jinxing it by saying that, so I'll shut up. So here's that awesome entire box of purses. There's a couple that are garbage in here, but there's a few that are pretty nice. That's like a Liz Claiborne. We got a couple of the other ones inside. There's like 20 of them in here, and a couple were some brand names. Uh, found this box here. These are just handy for whatever. And flea market wise, you can get a few bucks for them. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, you wait long enough, you'll probably get 10, 12 bucks for a nice box with a hasp like that. So I will use that for something. Found this shelf. I'm wondering if when they threw it curbside, uh, if that resulted in the dent there. I can undent that to a certain extent. But these shelves, I usually, uh, you know, they're kind of almost mid-century modern, old-school look. I sold one just recently that was kind of crusty and crunchy for 50 or 60 bucks, I want to say. So this will fetch me something. 40 bucks. I'm thinking 50 bucks for that. And over here, excuse the mess. The problem is I get things clean and then, you know, once in a while lightning strikes with the goods and I start hoarding the stuff again. Ah, uh, just a Bible. It's like, I'm not even really religious, so to speak, so much, but uh, it's kind of terrible to see these thrown away. I could give that to some people I know, put it to good use, or just have a coffee on hand. Uh, so I saw these and I saw one of these recently for almost the same one. This is the box for 90 bucks. 90 bucks. And it went so fast that people on Facebook Marketplace were like arguing over it. I had like 20 something people message me for that. So I'm going to leave it in the box for now. One of those cool light up Christmas trees. This one won't probably fetch it. Oh no, it's got the light bottom packed under there, I'm presuming. Looks like it was well taken care of, especially since it has the box with it. That will be some easy cash, even off season. So that's a pretty cool spo uh, score. I'm going to go back and see what else is down there. So upon the morals of taking stuff that's being discarded from someone who recently passed away, yeah, it's kind of weird. Especially I knew this person, I liked them a lot. I used to go over to her house and help her out with certain things uh, after her husband had died. Uh, climb on the roof to check shingles for her, things like that free of charge. I'd like to think she'd be cool with me having the stuff. And although I'm not keeping it and it's moving on, and I'm making some money on it, the stuff is not going to waste. Some of the stuff that might have been near and dear to her will live on. So I kind of feel good about that. And whatever the case, it's on the side of the road, it's fair game, it's trash, it shall be used.